Welcome back to another episode of... What the heck am I doing? <laughs> so yeah, I am digging along. Um, making a subway. So, got all of that done and all of this done. It's like a thousand, thousand or so. Well, over a thousand blocks in both directions. Well, more than both, because it is a very long subway. This will be the long, the longest um, single subway on the server, hopefully. I mean, because. Well, it's an ice subway, but I'm also planning to add, like, footpaths and stuff like that. Notice, I don't have haste, so this pickaxe, again, efficiency, oh, if it, right, efficiency 8, and fortune 5, you know, the kind of thing you can only get from an event. <laughs> so, yeah, if you, um... So yeah, if you are able to get through this Halloween Mansion event, yes, I know it's not Halloween anymore, uh, but it was when it was when it originated. But uh, not a whole lot of people ended up playing when it came out, which was unfortunate. Um, although. It had to be run when, uh, when one of the when the admin who created it when he was on when he's online is the only time when we can run it I think because it requires quite a bit of mod supervision to um, discourage cheating because there are some gear restrictions and stuff. Uh, but yeah, this pickaxe was one of the prizes prize sets of stuff. Hold on, I should turn down my render distance because my computer is not happy with me right now. Let's check that. Well, I mean, in terms of RAM usage, it's not very high, but, um, lower it down to about 8. Performance. Hmm. Let's see. There's, 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 there's got to be a way to. Um, oh yeah, my protocols. That's probably why I'm lagging. Well, partially, because I mean, for but I mean for streaming, or not streaming, recording, my computer uh, likes to lag a lot. Good thing I'm not playing a mod pack. <laughs> Straight up good old vanilla 1.15 and hey, some diamonds. Gonna be nice with Fortune 5. Yep, 18 diamonds. Um, what, like four ores? <laughs> and you don't even want to know how much uh, lapis you can get from one ore with this. It's a lot. It is a lot. Like like half a stack of lapis from one ore. It's crazy. But yeah, the nice thing about this pickaxe is I don't need to place beacons everywhere in order to get all this done. And it doesn't take damage. So I can go along and the only issue is inventory space and torches. But luckily, Whenever I am running low, just put some stuff in the ender chest. I have no, I don't know why I like to keep things like cobblestone and such, but it's like this impulse I have that I want to keep all this material in case I ever need it. Regardless of whether I will or not, it's 
system compulsion of sorts. Lava. Another nice thing that I got from the event was this armor. Protection 8 <laughs> on all the pieces. Uh, my boots I got from another event, but I'm wearing them because I don't have a spare feather falling book. And the boots from the event didn't actually come with feather falling. And let's just say I require that. <laughs> day to day, because otherwise I will fall to my death. Although I usually carry a totem now, so it wouldn't matter anyways. Hmm. Oh, and another interesting thing, lava does like no damage. The only reason I'm avoiding it is for the durability concerns on my boots, although that shouldn't be so much of a concern because they fall and they don't lose durability very fast. And looks like I am running out of blocks. But yeah, no, like on fire and I'm taking like no damage. The only time I take damage is when the hunger bar starts going. Just put a block there. And I am out of blocks, almost. Thought I was out of blocks. And that wouldn't be good. Because clearing a lava lake using this method requires a lot of blocks. So, oh, torches work too. That is interesting. <laughs> that is quite funny. You can essentially use a torch to do that. I find that somewhat amusing to do that. That the torch, a little stick in the flame, can take down a lava source. A one meter cube of lava. still in ABBA. My god. ABBA is like the uh, the mining world, basically. The gens twice a week. With a new seed every time. It is quite useful for those, for those raw materials that, you know, you would never get more of than in a world if it wasn't for this, for this world, separate world that, yeah, yes, snag resources from. 
if I can snag quite enough resources from the overworld, considering this path that I've been digging, and considering how much stone and cobblestone I have already, We're getting there. Okay, keep going. Because I plan to do this today, because I got the other one done before I had this, like, insane pickaxe. Actually, I just got it yesterday, and, um, it's pretty good. No vanilla pickaxe can insta-mine cobblestone, <laughs> and this pickaxe can insta-mine uh, even ores if uh, if you have haste, a haste beacon. It will insta-mine almost anything. Well, anything except the obvious exceptions, uh, bedrock and obsidian. Those ones will never, of course, be insta-mined. Bedrock, it's interesting, I saw a video recently by Phoenix SC that was saying, you know, even with infinity haste, you still cannot mine bedrock. And I found that really quite, um, ah, uh, what's the word? I found it very... Well, like, prophetic in a way, because I mean, bedrock is the unbreakable thing in Minecraft. So I mean, obviously, even an infinite haste level would not mean bedrock breaking. So, yeah. And yeah, like I'm proving right now, lava does no damage to me. I can literally swim in lava and not die. Just, it lags a lot. Oh, and, uh, not so useless information for the day. Golden carrots. One of the best food, well, the best PvP food in the game. Not best for, uh, for uh, hunger satisfaction in the game, but like, it's the best for, um, not hunger saturation, but the number of little pork chops that it, it uh, satisfies. Ouch. Not really. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, quick little bit of sort of useless information. <laughs> but it isn't useless. It sounds like a video someone would do. Useless information, but it's not useless. Uh, turns out I did not need to swim in lava for that. But yeah, as you can see, even though I'm using the longest lasting food in the game, I still and not stop using it because of how much damage I'm taking. I wonder how much damage this actually is. <laughs> like how many points of damage have I absorbed just doing this. Oh god, I'm still on fire. Still. It's so hard to see with that. 
Yeah, that is a... that guy is currently playing a PvP event by Nefarious Archer um, called Mob Mayhem, which has been on a, a thing on the server before, but for, not for this iteration. This is the first time this iteration. I thought that was a completely different block for a second. Like, I did not think that was cool. <laughs> I was playing like a mod pack or something for a sec. But yeah, nice. I'm swimming in lava. Because I can do that. Just have to hope I don't kill my boots. Good thing I got plenty of cobblestone. Lava again. I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm just gonna keep building. Building through the lava. And I mean, I unbound my Q key, so that's not even a worry anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah. Just sitting here in lava, taking damage. Thinking, oh yeah, no, I tapped it off. No, I did not. <laughs> I definitely did not, and I'm still on fire. Even with the best fire protection, well, even with a level better than the best fire protection in the game, you still cannot survive indefinitely in lava. But that one potion of fire resistance, and you're swimming frosty. Even a tiny tap on the uh, on my touchpad, and all these blocks just disappear. Like <laughs> I love it, but at the same time, it can get annoying. Come on, I'm trying not to take damage. Stupid lava. the most uncontrollable pickaxe I have ever had. But it is also my favorite by a long shot. Because of how much digging I can do with it and never have to go to get some XP and to order to heal it. Since it has Curse of Vanishing, if I die with it, it is gone forever. And since this event, you can only go in once, this is all I ever get. Not all the server gets, though, because um, the, the way the prizes were div divvied up is each person gets one set. So like everyone who participated this last time is going to have a set. Or already has, I should say. Can't get me here, lava.
how long is this lava lake? Oh, finally, I'm back to the regular tunneling. Dear God. I could probably still be like two or three shotted by a iron, by an iron golem. <laughs> it's like ridiculous how much damage they do. I had one of these things. I mean, I would be. Wearing those new boots for the uh, for the nice Depth Strider 5, but I just don't have a Feather Falling book to spare at the moment. Another nice thing about those big hats is I can literally do anything I want with that, and it will not work. I can <laughs> I can forge in five gravel, and my pickaxe will never break because of it. Yeah, but of course, this is way better. I already have like a double chest of flint. That I'm basically never gonna use. There's like nothing that flint is useful for other than arrows. And we are swimming in those due to the octa spawner. Yep, that's right. The old penta spawner is now an octa spawner. <laughs> Four blaze spawners and four skeleton spawners in there. All from events. From various events. And I need to grab more torches. But while I'm at it, I may as well chuck some things in some other shelter boxes. Woohoo, finally passed the passed the axis. I mean, I've been for a while, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Working on it. But hey, this one oil of Okay. From four pieces of lapis, managed to get 58 lapis lazuli.
Oh great, I can hear another lava lake. And I can also hear my computer dying. Finally seeing those waypoints popping up too. Getting close. Well, relatively. Within about 500 blocks, I think. blocks. Yes, in fact, all of these, all of the armor and tools, except for the bow, are unbreakable. Did I mention why I'm doing this? Probably not. I am doing this because I have a lot of time on my hands and basically because I said I would and also, well, mostly just because I can. You know, it's just there is so much I can do with this new pickaxe. I can hear spiders. I can hear a spooder.
that was my farm. Oh, some alone. That I do not need to deal with at the moment. Alright, this place. That is a good sign. I can do my computer dying. Which is unfortunate because it shouldn't be. spike. Above me. Above me, right back. Really not. You do that. and dying right now. As that would be the rageiest rage quit of all time if I somehow died.
speaking of TNT, I literally have an entire Shulku box of TNT at the moment, and enough resources to potentially make and continuously manufacture that much. Hmm, maybe I should sell it. I mean, I know there are buyers for that kind of thing. Because lots of people like to see the stuff blow up. Just. I'm already pushing the limit of storage in that thing. <laughs> now let's see where we are. We have gone... Now, what I have done today is I've gone from this area here, this mountainous area, from down here, the vault mark 2 end of rail, or, well, roughly around put a beacon here is where the um, rail is on, or not the rail, the ice path on that side is that I was doing, and all that has been done today. And yeah, we're more than halfway, well over halfway to being able to turn north to command block guy or ACAG. Yeah. That is a lot to have done in one day. Like, if I did that much tomorrow, holy crap. Cause, yeah, this is amazing. But, uh, yeah, let's see what's going on around here. Still cooking, um, another bricks. Another stack of cobble in each of these. And basically wait. <laughs> basically waiting on them. But, until then, we have a lot of cobble. From that. Damn it, if the frame rate was... If only I could have 60 FPS. Yeah, that's never gonna happen on my computer. Well, I mean, not when streaming at least. Well, 
not one for quarter. Why do I keep making that mistake? Calling it streaming. It's not streaming, it's recording. from that one, so I can put it with the rest of my cobblestone. I am going to need to get another chest out for granite, although I guess I could just overflow into the next um, column. to tell the difference. Yeah, now down here is polished granite, so... Yeah. I'm sure we've all had that experience of gravel falling on our heads. So, so, so many would call gravel useless. Now, luckily for gravel, it has a use. <laughs> As of um, whatever the colorful update was, uh, World of Color update or something, since that, we've had concrete, which is nice. Because that gives lots and lots of gravel a use that it has not had before. Unless I'm missing something. Probably missing something obvious. Probably. I forgot to show off my sword as well. Because this thing does 11.5 attack, attack damage. All these crazy levels of everything. Oh, it's even got Bane of Othropods level 8. <laughs> yeah, this thing does a lot of damage. I wonder if it kills spiders so effectively. Another nice thing about that pickaxe is insta-mining of shulker boxes with haste. Oh crap, missed a stack of sight. Put that where it belongs.
almost done unpacking all this cobblestone and stone, uh, various kinds of stone, and we are done, I think. We are done unpacking all of that. Time to put the coal away. Oh, there we go. Another wood. It's a chest. Good. And then the bajillion shulkers that are just littered in the ground right here. Until my phoenix finishes this machine. If I had torches, I would light that up. Because some of these are not acceptable light levels. did I put my money shulker? Ah. There it is. And there. That was the mining trip for today. <laughs> yeah. But uh, time to fortune some other quartz. Because I can. And another quartz is actually a hot commodity for some people. Here, at least. Wondering why that block wasn't placing. But yeah, like, look, I can literally insta mine. <laughs> this is amazing how much levels I'm just that are just following me and yeah yep <laughs> that's a lot of level from basically one stack of metal glutes. healed. Everything's healed. Even though my enemy doesn't really need it. Well, except for the boots. Those still need it. I can do it on all those nether bricks. Now, how much of this should I make into woods? Most of it. probably deal with the contents of that one too while I'm around. Stone, stone, stone. Oh, that's all that stone. I just realized how much polished pyrite I have. Holy crap. That I haven't used much of. Although, I use a lot of polished granite. But look how much granite I have. Extra granite I have. Full. Of granite. That is a lot of granite. But I guess I technically have more diorite because of the polished stuff. And yeah. And the Anderson I've given away before because of, you know. Well, because it's in, in even media, medium sized quantities, it is essentially worthless. Right, I 
hopefully I don't have a shock hoof in this. Crap. And I don't have enough. Damn it. I'm going to make another barrel. has been one heck of a day. There's most of this was stone. There was a lava lake up here. Not a large one, but there was a lava lake. Right, I said I was gonna make a water elevator today. Well, said to myself, but still move that column. I <laughs> oh, gotta love those puns. Donuts. <laughs> uh, yep, I love the pun mowers. Now then, this is going to be a fair amount of nether bricks. It would be even more if I made a red nether bricks, but... Meh. Now let's see. Insta mining nether bricks. Nice. It's also like really, really fast on obsidian. Obvious. Well, I mean, of course, but. Yeah. Does this look good with nether bricks here? Still looks a little too flat. Hmm. Well, it's still fairly good. Fairly decent looking. Ooh, thought I saw an Enderman. I mean, not like I'd be afraid of one, because I'm basically invincible, but I wouldn't want to push it. Not sure what exactly this is going to look like eventually, but it's definitely a work in progress. Now this room here, if it wasn't for this room, well, we would have a lot less efficient storage for one, but for two, we would likely have more symmetry, which is what I wanted. Which is what I wanted, but we don't always get what we want, but sometimes we get what we need. <laughs> Alright, he left this flush button. <laughs> get it? Is it the toilet? Ha ha ha, I'ma go, I'ma jump. <laughs> yeah. Probably remove the beacon up there. Maybe I'll get it eventually. 
but it is nighttime, so maybe not the best plan to go up there and deal with that right now. And how the heck are those chunks loading? I haven't been down there in forever. I'm not sure exactly what I'm looking for, but meh. Well, it has been long enough of me doing very boring things, I'm sure. So, thank you. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. And uh, even if you haven't made it this far, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye.